painting the world just the way you see it. That's, one, that's what one artist decided to do when his vision was affected by illness, causing the world to look like vertical lines. Now his work is on display at the Barringer Crawford Museum. Joining me this morning is artist Jim Hall. Thanks for coming in, Jim. Oh, thank you. It's You've got some fantastic art. I'm super excited to talk to you about the show you're putting together. I got to say something first of all. This is amazing to be here. You see, I watch you guys every morning. <laughs> well, thank That's how you. I start out with Channel Five at five o'clock. That's how I know what we my day is going to be. We appreciate it yeah. and really appreciate your talents. They are really spectacular. We've been seeing some images of your paintings. And first, I guess, tell us briefly about your illness and then how it's affected your painting. Well, uh, I had a stroke in the late 1900s, and I didn't paint for a couple of years. And toward the end of that, I got shingles, which was the most painful thing I ever went through. That lasted about three weeks. When I finished with that, uh, I woke up the next morning, I saw everything in vertical lines. And I thought I was going blind. Mm -hmm. and, <clears throat> and instead of panicking about it, I started painting it. And the, those lines went away after about three months. Okay. But I still continue to paint in vertical lines. In vertical lines. It took it's a me a year to do the first one. A different approach. And, yeah. and your, your works are really interesting, just the, right. the way you see things. So right. it's great. You're going to have a, a show, sounds like, starting here at the Barringer Crawford Museum. And here's a, a nice uh, couple of examples of some of the pieces. Really, oh, that's a nice uh, the video of you painting, it looks like, yeah. as well. Huh. So you're going to have a show to see these pieces, correct? Tell us about that. Well, it's at the uh, Barringer Crawford Museum, and it's been there for a little over a month. Uh, it's it's uh, it's not an exhibit of paintings for sale. It's a part of a traveling museum exhibit, and it it it's there through uh, the 9th of April. Mm -hmm. Then it'll move on to another museum, and oh. it'll keep on moving from one museum to another across the country, and. And Hopefully it sounds like a great collection. Do, is there a certain theme to it, or? Uh? Well, the theme to it is my life. I, I, Steve Holfield is the one who directed it, so I didn't have anything to do with putting the exhibit together. But the panels and the paintings that, uh, that I've donated for it mm -hmm. tell the story of my life and all the warts. I, there are more warts than I expected, <laughs> but, but it tells the story of my life and. There are paintings there to illustrate that. And real quick, did you find it more difficult or less difficult to paint in lines versus maybe painting previously? Oh, it was very difficult. Yeah. I, the I the first one took a year. Mm -hmm. I can still remember my wife, bless her heart. Uh, one day I, when I was still working on this first Lionelism painting called The Outer Banks, uh, I said, I don't know why I'm doing this. It's just so hard. Yeah. And the way that she had, she just said, I think you answered your own question. <laughs> That's why you should be doing it. Yeah, because it's hard. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for coming. I really look forward to seeing more of your pieces. Very interesting, and Good. it was great to meet you in person. Jim's work is currently on display at the Barringer Crawford Museum until April 9th. For more information, head to linealismrevealed.org. Thanks so much, Jim. Thank you.